Dr. Antman, you're reporting today um, at the American Heart Association the results of the Triton Timmy 38 trial. I'd like you just to describe the trial initially. Sure. Well, thank you. Uh, we did describe uh, the Triton Timmy 38 trial today, but let me tell you why we did the study mm -hmm. and then a little bit about how we designed the trial. Mm -hmm. we, we asked an overarching scientific question, which is whether we could come up with a regimen that would produce a higher level of inhibition of platelet aggregation. That is, decrease the ability of platelets to clump together and decrease the ability of a clot to form. And if we could identify such a regimen, would it be associated with a reduction in events in patients who undergo percutaneous coronary intervention and have a stent implanted? And the other question would be, how safe is it to actually use such a regimen? Now, we were able to test these questions in the Triton Timmy 38 study because there is a drug that is an investigational third generation thionopyridine called Prasagrel, which does produce higher levels of inhibition of platelet aggregation and does so much more rapidly than the current standard, clopidogrel. So our trial uh, involved 13,608 patients, 30 countries around the world, 707 sites, and we randomized patients with an acute coronary syndrome to receive either standard therapy with clopidogrel, a loading dose of 300 milligrams and a maintenance dose of 75 milligrams, or the investigational regimen of Prasagrel, loading dose of 60 milligrams and a maintenance dose of 10 milligrams. I, I, this is one of the interesting things about this trial is that you did compare to the standard clopidogrel, yes. a second generation Correct. agent. Um, Describe for me just briefly the findings, the end point first of all, and then sure. the findings. Sure. Uh, double blind study drug was to be given for a median duration of at least 12 months, a minimum of 6 months, and a maximum of 15 months. It turned out in the trial that we did have a median duration of uh, therapy of 15 months. So when we talk about the end of the study, it's 15 months. Mm -hmm. Uh, we did have some key pre-specified safety endpoints, Timmy, major, non-cabbage bleeding, and life-threatening bleeding. We also looked at a number of secondary endpoints, including stent thrombosis. Let's, let's talk first of all about the primary endpoint. Uh, we observed overall in the trial a highly statistically significant 19% reduction uh, in the composite primary endpoint, cardiovascular death, MI, or stroke, with Prasagrel. 138 events were prevented with Prasagrel compared to clopidogrel. The number of patients who would need to be treated to prevent one event was 46. So we're talking now about the obviously this is an investigational agent, so, but let's let's uh, let's do a little crystal ball thing here. If the drug were approved today, um, tell me how you would see the drug being used. If the drug were approved today, and let me also add that in my opinion, if we could actually approve it with a modified dose for those individuals who would benefit from a modified dose to minimize their bleeding risk. I would feel comfortable using it in the overwhelming majority of patients. I would also recommend that to minimize bleeding overall in patients undergoing PCI and stenting, probably ought to be doing more radial catheterizations than femoral catheterizations. The bleeding rate in those who had a radial catheterization was half that. Well, those are all in Europe, the radials? Uh, the majority were done in Europe, that's right. right. And uh, our European co-principal investigator, Gilles Montalesco, was joking with me uh, at our investigators meeting and said, he's ready to come and teach the North American interventionalists how to do radial catheterization so to minimize the bleeding uh, and be able to take advantage of a drug like uh, that produces higher levels of inhibition of platelet aggregation uh, without uh, putting the patient uh, at as much risk of bleeding. So that's interesting that you bring up radial. I didn't hear you mention that earlier. No, but, I didn't actually. But no. um, uh, and radial is not is not done in the United States with no, any great. Probably ought it, to. It pro and it's been there's been an issue. Yes. There's been some studies reported actually at the American Heart Association. Yes, that's in right. Recent we years. talked about some. Yes, that's and right. we have to and we have talked about this in the past. And that there's there's less there's uh, there's um, uh, it, it less bleeding. Uh, that's irrespective of regimen. Isn't that correct? Yes. I mean, so it's, so it's always been less bleeding. We show less bleeding with radial catheterization in both the clopidogrel and the prasugrel right. treated so patients. The, so the, the entry does have, the, does have a role. In terms Absolutely. Of, uh, so maybe it is time for everybody to attend one of those seminars and learn, learn that might radial. might be helpful. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Doctor. My pleasure. Thank you. Thanks a lot.